parents who tried their best to raise their kids to be good humans but they turned out to be jerks. What do you wish you did differently? Generally speaking if you try to teach your kids something and not be the example, you might as well not have wasted your time. I think this about two of my cousins. My uncle, Ed, had a severely strict mother. The type of southern mum that domineered her husband and took no nonsense from her kids. To the extent that all three of her kids were estranged from her for a bit. But two of them, including my uncle, Ed, have been reconnected for decades. My uncle, vowing to never be this strict with his kids. Essentially just never disciplined his kids. Whenever Ed and my aunt Lana had an issue with them. The kids could go to Ed and get out of it because he was kind of a pushover. They grew up to be rude. Didn't respect curfews at like age 12. The son always had some sort of issue. My family is very hush-hush about mental health. I think it's ADHD. That led to angry bursts as a kid and they tried their best with medication but it kind of mellowed him out into a shell of himself till they found a better med combo. Another thing that may play a role is their half black. My side. And half white. Ed's side. I won't pretend to know if there was an identity issue growing up. But I was very judgmental of them because they kind of both tried to act ghetto like they grew up. In a tough neighborhood with a hood accent and I'm like. No you grew up in one of the most affluent neighborhoods in the state with both parents and a lot of chances. So yeah. Last year my mum admits to me both of the cousins got into drugs and had to go to rehab. Again. Knowing my family they'd freak out at weed but I think it was that and also opiates. And I'm just shaking my head thinking that this is kind of all on my cousins. We wanted our kids to be happy so I think we coddled and spoiled them. They aren't ready to function independently in the adult world. In retrospect, I think learning some hard lessons growing up helps prepare them and is less damaging than learning those lessons as adults. Asterisk edit. To clarify, they aren't jerks. Just not ready to be adults. Classic, not a parent but thing here but, as someone whose sister was a complete bitch that was always given the benefit of the doubt even when she was clearly wrong. This is because my parents wanted to be fair to her, resulting in them being unfair to me. I just wish they went a little harder on her. Whenever she did something, they'd just tell her not to do it. And she'd do it again the very next day. While if I did something similar, and then the next day did it again. I'd get screamed at for half an hour. Because of this. She just got away with anything. And whenever I told my parents that she keeps doing it because they were going too easy on her. They'd just get mad at me. There's a difference between being nice and being a pushover. Nice people raise nice kids. Pushover raise spoiled kids. The mum of one of the Columbine shooters gave a TED talk about this. My parents are imperfect. But they did a lot of things right. The biggest one that sticks out to me is that they're supportive of things my brother and I like. Even when they don't understand or like it. They didn't really care for skateboarding. But they spent hundreds of dollars over the years for my brother to enjoy his hobby. They not only helped me get a drum set, but allowed the band to hold practice in our basement and drove us to all our shows. They wanted me to be a lawyer, but they were willing to settle for line cook. It made a difference in the long run, because eventually it helped me realize that I get to make my own choices in life, nothing is laid out for me. I can do whatever I enjoy, and my parents will be there for me cheering me on. This is Reddit. The children are always right and the parents are narcissists. My niece, nephews are those jerks. 
They're adults now. Still jerks. The nephews are the worst. In a nutshell. They grew up with zero consequences. If they stole. Their dad repaid and mum apologized. If they vandalized. Their dad repaid and mum apologized. If they acted like jerks towards adults. Their dad yelled at them once. Mum apologized. They're older than my kids. They all acted fine around us. As they knew I'd spank them. And I did. More than once. The dad was pissed. Mum was happy. I didn't care. Don't like it. Don't bring them to my house. Go away mad. Fine by me. They eventually stole from every family member but us. Seems the kids with issues that couldn't control themselves. Could control themselves around the two adults who didn't buy in. They all treated the mum horribly. The dad never corrected me. They still do. Not yelling, screaming anymore. Just use her and use her. Beg. Borrow. Steal her money. That's all on her. Almost 40 years later. She hasn't listened or learned. They're a weird little group. It's them against the world. And they all hate each other. When we first had kids. The mum and dad said, you'll see. And I laughed in their faces each time. No. I won't see. Because I see what you are doing so wrong. It's not hard to raise good kids. But it starts from day one. And it's a daily job. My oldest is 21. Great kid. And I correct him on a weekly basis. Small things. But he lives at home and hears dad's input on the tiny things he might want to rethink. Funny thing. Bad kids grow up and as they're growing. Never ask for or take the parents' advice. And good kids do so even as young adults. Your kids have to respect you. And I believe fear you, just enough. Not be afraid. But know not to cross lines. I have three sons. My oldest is a bigot. Racist. Homophobic. Anti-vax. Anti-government. Sexist jerk. People who know us don't know where he got all that from. My other two children are delightful. I love my son dearly but I don't like him. ITT, nobody answering the prompt, everyone just complaining about other people's kids. Not me. But my parents have discussed what they wished they had done differently for my brother in order to prevent him from becoming a violent, homeless, drug-addicted snotball of a person. They wish they had sent him to therapy before problems ever started. And that they had reacted quicker and sent him sooner when they did. They wish they hadn't yelled so much at all of us. That they had been more patient and forgiving of our mistakes. They wish a lot. I wish we hadn't settled during the custody case and instead fought for full custody of my stepson. With limited, supervised visitation with his mum. We thought we were doing the right thing and she ruined him. In my experience most jerk kids come from jerk parents. That being said. Kids can easily become jerks when they have no consequences for their actions. Not just as a toddler but throughout childhood. Currently pregnant and acutely scanning this thread to take note of what not to do. I wish I knew that some grandparents shouldn't be allowed to have a relationship with a vulnerable. Easily manipulated child. I wish I knew it was okay to cut people out of your life. I have one child. The youngest. Who I'm starting to worry about. He's tall. Athletic. Attractive and very charismatic. I feel like it's a constant battle between teaching him respect and humility and the worship he gets at school. At his age is not prepared to deal with all these peers who want his attention. Tell him how great he is. And the girls lining up to talk to him. Yeah. Don't we all wish we had this problem as teens? Anyway. It's a struggle. He's gotten cocky and thinks life will just keep on treating him like a king. 
and maybe it will, he's got the type of personality that makes people want him around. But he needs to treat others with the same respect he expects for himself. Confidence is good but it needs to be combined with kindness. Our other children are very level-headed and what we feel are good people. I hope we get to properly tech this to our youngest and that he takes it to heart and chooses to be a good person. Not my kid. But a kid I grew up with. His parents were super strict and this kid was one of the most religious people I've ever met. He was in church pretty much any time the church was open. Was a great guy and a really good person. But very odd because of his parents. He was the one always getting made fun of. Etc. I found out recently that he was arrested a few months ago on child porn charges. Which absolutely blows my mind. I never would have thought that coming from him. I dunno. But maybe if his parents hadn't been so strict and controlling. He would have turned out differently and been a little more well adjusted socially. Edit. Just for all the people assuming he was abused at church. It's very unlikely. Although not impossible. I also grew up going to that church before my parents got divorced when I was a teenager and I stopped going altogether. Though I never went as frequently as he did. There wasn't any abuse going on that I was aware of and the pastor was a great guy who I still respect to this day despite no longer believing in church much. Like I said, I can't say 100% for certain. But I seriously doubt anything like that happened to him there. I doubt you're going to get good faith answers from parents on this. My parents would tell you. Well, my dad died a few years ago. But he believed this when he was alive. That I turned out terribly. I'm married to a guy the first love. Raising kids who are reasonably well adjusted. And doing a job I like. Living in a nice house with friends and hobbies I love. They don't like the way I dress. Don't like the way I wear my hair. Don't like my friends. Don't like the denomination of synagogue I go to. Don't like my career path. And are angry that I'm fat and don't dye my hair. My dad was particularly put out by the fact that my son has long hair and my daughter likes cosplay. Also. They'll say they did a perfect job at raising me and I'm just a failure. Sent them to a private school so they didn't have to associate with or get beaten up by aspiring gangsters.